What I want to do in this video is take this quantity represented by these, I guess, these greenish emerald looking bars, where each bar represents one, and try to represent them using the digits that we know, the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to group this into tens. So I'm going to see how many tens I have, and then essentially how many ones that I have left over. So let's try to group this into groups of 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let me actually, I messed that up. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's one group of 10 right over there. Let me, let me, let me box that off so I know that that is 10. So that's one group of 10. Now let's see. Let's see if I can get a few more groups of 10 in there. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's my second group of 10. Right over there. Second group of 10. And now, let's see, it looks like I get several more groups of 10 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's a third group of 10. It looks like I might even be able to get one more. So that's my third group of 10. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's my fourth group of 10. Fourth group of 10 right over here. So I was able to fit in, at least just this is one, this is a 10 right over here. This is another 10 right over here. That's a, the third 10. And then that's the fourth 10. So we could say that's 10 plus 10 plus 10. Or all of this combined, all of this combined is equal to four, one, two, three, four tens, four tens. But I'm not done. I'm not done with the number. I still have one, two. I have two ones left over. So this is a one. So that's a one right over there. And then this is another one. So that's another one. So I have two ones. So this right over here, that is two ones. Remember, each of these little gr green bars we said represents a one. So this whole number is what? Well, it's going to be the four tens, one ten, two ten, three tens, four tens, plus the two ones. So let me write that down. So it is four tens plus plus two ones. Well, what is that? Well, if we use the number systems that we're used to representing, we would say, well, look, our number system gives us a way of representing that. Because the first place, the first place, this is the ones place. So let me do this in this blue color. So this is the ones place. So there we use one of the digits, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, to say how many ones we have. And we have two ones. And then the next place over to the left, that's where we say how many tens we have. That's where we say how many tens we have. And we know how many tens we have. We have four tens. So the way that we would represent this in our number system is we would say that this is four tens and two ones. And we call this right over here, we call this 42. Another way that you could think about this is four tens well, four tens, that's 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. That's going to be 40. So, But once again, we're using our number system to represent this. And then we have two ones. And then we have two ones. But I like to write it this way, just to remind ourselves, this four, which represents four tens, it also represents 40. Because four tens is 40.